I'm looking at the students, and I'm re reflecting on a time 60 years ago when I just graduated from university. I was launching into my hero's journey. I'm going to make a difference. But there was something missing. Not too long after, I took a flight halfway across the world to start my new life. I ended up paying my way through two more uh, university degrees, master's degrees, in fact. I ended up getting married. I took over the running of a small business. I grew the small business 700% in the first seven years from 14 employees to 94 at our height. I had three kids of my own. We adopted a fourth. And I ended up being president of a number of different industry associations. I sold the business and retired at age 43. But there was still something missing. And what was missing caught up with me. In fact, instead of going on my hero's journey, I ended up in a downward spiral. I didn't know who the heck I was. I looked around and wondered, what's next for me? Gradually, I crawled out of the hole. I ended up becoming a corporate consultant. This guy that doesn't know himself becomes a corporate consultant. And here I found something. I found a kernel of ownership around something. You see, the person I ended up becoming in front of the room or in front of my clients was completely different from the person at home. In fact, I had a meeting with somebody, a friend, and I said to him, I don't know who I am. I work for my business. I look after my wife. I look after my kids. But I don't know who looks after me. Something had already started to shift. Then um, the time came that uh, I had the dream of climbing some mountains. And I ended up becoming the oldest person in the world to climb the highest peak on each of the seven continents and into the Guinness Book of Records. But that didn't mean much. What meant a lot was simply the fact that I had got to know a little bit more about me. I was blown away by this magnificent world that we're living in, that so much of the time when we're into our books we don't even see. I was blown away by the people that I was encountering and seeing and meeting. And more than anything, I was blown away by what this body can do. But there was still a little bit missing. I ended up looking at what was next, and finally realized that until I knew who this person was, but even more than that, owned who this person was, I'm not going to have the hero's journey that I was hoping to embark on. I learned something else as a consultant. Unconsciously or consciously, we judge people. We assess people the minute we meet them. Give me a show of hands, please. OK, I'm seeing some hands up. I'm seeing some hands down. I now immediately know something about you. The hands that were up, I know you're with me. I know you're inspired. I know you want to keep going. The ones that were at half mast, well, your head was saying, hmm, I'm not so sure about this. Why should I raise my hand? Maybe I shouldn't raise it too high. And some of you who didn't raise your hand, you might have even said this to me. <laughs> to heck with you. I don't care about raising your hands. So I know something about you. What we also know very, very clearly is whatever goes on here is reflected here. A question could be, can it be the other way around? For a moment, I'd like you to put your body into a position of ultimate sadness. You've seen people be sad. Put your body into that position, please, everybody. OK. Get a sense of what you are feeling right now. OK, now I'm going to flip you out of that. Put your body into a sense of power, into a sense of, yeah, this is me. I am here. 
get a sense again of how are you feeling right now. And then please give me a show of hands. Who felt a little bit of sadness who, or who felt a little bit of yeah, empowerment and joy? Give me a show of hands, please. Ha, huh, interesting. I asked you to change your body, and what ended up happening is you changed what was going on in here, and because of that, more than likely, you changed what was going on in here. So the re re reverse is true, and that is fantastic news, <laughs> because the next thing I'm going to talk to you about or offer or suggest to you can have an impact on the rest of your lives. You do not have to climb the highest mountains of the world to really get to know who you are. You do not have to take 60 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years to get a sense of ownership of, yeah, this is me. All you have to do, and there's a lot of research here, is put your body into a power position for two minutes a day. Or t let me change that a little bit. For two minutes before you go into a challenging situation, and a power position could be Wonder Woman. <laughs> and you just hold that position. And you can let yourself talk to you, if you wish, about this position, or you can be Superman. Or you can be Forrest Becker for two minutes. <laughs> or you can lean on your desk and just own yourself. Or you could sit back and say, yeah, I'm king of the world. It doesn't matter. You choose your power position. Do it before an interaction, a challenging interaction, and your success rate will increase because you'll become more effective, you'll become more present. It's all about being present, present to yourself, present to the people around you. Now, the individual that jabber, 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 jabber is around you is not present. The person that's sitting back when they've got things to say is also not present. So if you really want to do a switch, do this exercise twice a day, just simply for two minutes. Maybe when you get up, Maybe when you go to bed. Within a fairly short period of time, 15, 20, 30 days, you'll get a different sense of who this person is. And when you start owning this person, and you can do this just mentally, you will have a different impact on the world. You will reawaken the giant within you, or expand the giant within you. And then you'll start playing in your dreams and maybe even dance among the stars. Thank you. Thank you.